I am Kausal Tripathi, your instructor, and today we are going to talk about sharpening of images. So, if you remember in the previous video, we have talked about you know how to blur out the images, uh, blurring effect in the images. So, now this sharpening is exactly opposite to the blurring of images. And uh, if you, I have also talked about the bokeh effect in, in the mobile phones or in the cameras that you use. So, the, in that bokeh effect, if you see it clearly. Both the things are applying blurring as well as sharpening. It blurs out whatever the background that you wanna, you know, remove the noise of the background. It blurs that out, and uh, it emphasizes the person. Basically, the person standing over there. It emphasizes it. It creates a, you know, basically detects an edge and preserve the edges, and emphasize on that person. So what it does is it's sharpening the person and blurring out the background. So this is what the bokeh effect is. I've already to uh, told you the methods of blurring of the images. Now we're going to talk about sharpening of images. And sharpening of images is very easy. Simple concept is nothing to not like. There are lots of methods to work with. There are some basic methods. But today we are going to discuss only one method, which is a good method to discuss in sharpening of images. So let's get into our spider ID and see what that is. Okay. So this is a program. Basically, this is the program for sharpening the images. Okay, only this one. Yeah, and uh, if you see, we have imported two libraries, CVK and NumPy. You know about them. Then I've read that same image which I use in blurring out the images that after the image. Then we have created this kernel over here, the array. We will discuss about it. Then we have used the same method uh, that we used to blur out the images. Filter to the Okay, if you remember, if you were watching the previous video, they, we have used this method, filter 2D method, to blur out the images. And right now we are using the same method to sharpen the images. Then, we are just showing the original image as a filter image, you know, using filter 2D. And wait key and destroy all windows, nothing too complicated. Oh, only these two things you need to understand over here. So, this is all, uh, we have created our kernel. Same thing like we have created our kernels in the blurring out images, but there was like different types of kernels we were using. But here these are some specific kernels that we use. Okay, these are like that uh, you know if you see this kernel over here at this matrix basically we call it. So uh, you see all the numbers are like uh, minus 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 one minus one minus one, and in the center I've given this one number as nine. So if you have thought of a if you have you given a little bit of a mind, you would have realized from where 9 comes. It's the multiplication of length into breadth. Like earlier, we were like dividing the whole matrix with the length of the matrix with the width of the matrix. Now, this time, what we are doing, this time we are not uh, dividing it that matrix by that number, we are just putting it at the center, whatever that number is. And rest of all the numbers are minus 1. So, one more, we got an idea with it that whatever the kernel that we are going to use over here. Will be odd on this odd number of kernels so that we can find the center and when we can place our you know whatever the number we want to place it. But don't limit yourself up to this point. Okay, create bigger kernels with bigger values. Okay, use like uh, maybe uh, make a five by five kernel and put a twenty five in between, or seven by seven kernel and put a uh, forty nine in between, and or maybe. If you want to give it a more try, do minus 2 over here, minus 3 over here. Try what you're going to get with it. Those are experiments. Work with those experiments. That is going to make you do something better. Okay. So don't just limit yourself with this much only. This is just I'm trying to teach you what I'm trying to make you understand what's happening over here. How we do it, sharpening the process. That's all on you, how you are going to do it. Okay. Then we have used our filter 2D method. We have uh, called the source image. We give the depth as minus one. Minus one means it will use the same depth as of our original image. And then we have given it a kernel. Kernel is this. Our kernel over here. Okay. And then we have show, we do, I am show original. I am show filter. And wait key to all windows. Now if I run this program, if you see over here. And. Uh, let me pull out the both images. Yeah, you see here this is the original image, and you see here this image is not sharpened up. You see the edges over here around the uh, apple 
a more clear to you than in this. In this is, now, if you see these both images, you would find this original image is a little bit of a blurry image, a blurred out image, a little bit. And this is a sharpened image. Now, I can also, if you try to understand, if you try to relate previous video with this video, you will, if you are working on this video, and if you try to blur this video out, you will see how we have removed this noise that is in between and make it look plain. Okay, so this is now here we can understand what blurring really is. At that moment, I was not getting a good image, and even you know there was not much of a good clarification because of the that image was already a uh, good shape. But still, we were able to uh, remove lots of noise from the image. But here you can see clearly that. Suppose this is the original image, or uh, suppose this is a blurred image, and this is the original image, this filter one. This is the original image, and this is the blurred image. Obviously, like uh, you, uh, if you are blurring some image, you are going down. If you are sharpening an image, you are going up. So for up, that original image is a blurred image, right? The same thing. You see how much noise is being, you know, removed over here. And same thing if you see this wooden structure kind of a thing over here. Here you can't even, uh, you can't see properly, the, you can't find its edges. But here you can see its edges and you can find it properly. Okay, so this is called sharpening of images. Now as I told you, work with these, okay, make a bigger matrix. Okay, like make a 7 by 7 or 9 by 9. And remember one more thing. Uh, every time what happens is, it will... Uh, uh, this filter 2D, we are working with a filter 2D manner, right? So what filter 2D, or one more thing you can try. Try Gaussian blur. No, don't try Gaussian blur, sorry. Um, no, those methods are not gonna work over here, definitely. Actually, I was trying to help you with the experiment, but no, they are not gonna work. Okay, so what you can do basically is, uh, increase the size, make it 7 by 7 or 9 by 9. Or, one, one thing you need to remember, uh, like, uh, let me run it again. Okay, these two are images. Okay, these two are okay. We have right now created a uh, kernel of five by five. So what happens is, you know, uh, five by five kernel. What it does is, always it multiplies with the values of the original matrix and put it at the center of the kernel, right? So you will see uh, the border of that in original image will not be get much affected, and more the center means like center will get more affected. Uh, with the whatever the method either we are doing blurring or sharpening center will get more blurred or sharp than the border Okay, so the more the border you want to clear out the big make your kernel that big and uh, And that much the uh, difference will be created in between Okay, that much blur will, uh, Blurry or sharpness will come at the center of the image then the borders of the image so we uh, keep in mind when you are increasing or decreasing the size of the corner. Okay, so this is all about sharpening of images. Keep practicing it. See you in the next video.